YouTube, I am back. Oh, so happy. I've been sick the past few days and I've not been really doing anything on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or anywhere. I've been super, super quiet, but today I'm back. I'm excited and I have a lot of different updates for you guys that I think you will like. First and foremost, check out this video. <laughs> Hola, buenos días, que tal? So as you can see, we have company here. I mean, I'm sure you noticed. So his name is Azran, okay? Hello. He's a YouTuber Hola. as well. And he has a YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is named... Azran the Language Nerd. So as you can tell, it's a YouTube channel about... Languages. Yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna um, share three expressions from Spain that I think he's not gonna understand. So slang. And he's gonna do the same with Peru. Like, mm -hmm. he's gonna share three... I got one from Chile, too. Ah, he's got one term from yeah. Chile. Yeah. And then, so he's more international than me. <laughs> This was a collaboration that I did with another YouTuber recently, and it was it was a ton of fun. Um, I'll put the full link in the description below. Second of all, I got a text message uh, this morning from one of my students basically saying, Hey Azrin, you know, I know that I paid for a bunch of lessons. We've used some of the lessons, but I think I'm going to quit for the remainder of my lessons. I don't think that um, doing one-on-one -on -one private lessons is the best, the best approach for me. And she said, I basically want to think about what the best approach is for me, what I want to do, how I want to change things that I can learn best, which is fair, but it makes me think of two different things. The first thing it makes me think about is a really big weakness that I have um, that I'm actively working on right now um, when it comes to teaching languages. The, the weakness that I have is that when I teach languages, I'm very good at figuring out what someone's learning needs and learning style is. I'm, very, I'm quite good at reading the other person, reading the individual um, and figuring that out. Um, yeah, so my my approach is pretty straightforward. It's like, what do you need? Let's figure out how we can reverse engineer that to help yeah. you do it. So, so for, start so, at the outcome. Yeah, like what are you trying to figure out? Where are you trying to get to? What are you trying to do? And then we can start to work backwards from that. So, for example, for you, it's, it's more phrases. Yeah, like how do I use the proper mm -hmm. phrases? Yeah, like and that. so the one thing I'm not very good at, and that I need to get much better at, is I'm not good. <clears throat> once we figured out the strategy or the method or the pathway we're going to follow. I'm not the, I, I feel like I could get people through that pathway a lot faster than I do right now. Like sometimes I feel like as we're following the pathway, when I think back on it, I go, huh, you know what? There were, if I had just done X, Y, Z, blah, 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 we could, I could have helped them achieve what they are trying to achieve a heck of a lot faster than what we actually did. So in other words, sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit inefficient with my students. Um, and I'm actively trying to work on that so I can be a much better, uh, much better language teacher. So. Est-ce qu'il y a des endroits que vous voulez visiter à Banff? Sinon, on peut chercher sur Google et voir. Um, C'était un... Oh, wow, what was like a building uh bâtiment 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 thank you um bâtiment um que il a il a votre très très vieux ok quel bâtiment hi hello hi pico hello hello hey my trophy it's a trophy I'm a big believer that action and doing things is way more important than uh, than uh, like the strategy you pick. I think a lot of people fall into the camp of overthinking. They're they're really over analyzing 
if what they are doing is the best strategy or the best method for them. And in that overthinking and in that overanalyzing, they actually psych themselves out and they don't actually they don't actually make too much progress because they just quit or they get really scared or they or they get really overwhelmed, etc. Because they're constantly thinking things like, oh, is this going to work? Am I just wasting my time? Oh, I don't know if I'm making very much progress. Oh, what's what's going on? Is this really the best? Oh, I don't know. Da 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 da. A lot of thoughts like that, and eventually, it, it never leads to something positive. And so I find that sometimes with languages, it's just best to do stuff, do 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 do, um, and do some thinking because you have to make sure you have the right strategy. Yes, that matters. But I think some people over prioritize the thinking. They don't do much on the doing side. And then as a result, you know, as a result, you don't, you don't get the results that you wanted. So some, it's just really, really key to think about that.